Hello there everybody, my name is Agent Abel, and today we're doing another Pokemon TCG episode. Now in this video today, we will be opening and reviewing the Guardians Rising Elite Trainer Box. So what an Elite Trainer Box is, it's it has a lot of stuff in it. So what it all comes with, it comes with 8 Pokemon packs, 65 card sleeves, 45 energy cards, a player's guide to it, there's also 6 damage counter dice, a coin flip die, and then there's a couple acrylic markers, there's one for poison, burn, and the GX, and there's also a collector's box to hold everything, which that's what this thing is, and of course the code cards and the dividers for the box. So, usually people get some really good stuff out of these. This is actually uh, one of my Christmas gifts. So, uh, well, let's get into this. Alright, so I removed the uh, extra packaging on there, so we just take that off. And on the inside there's like a, I don't know if I can get in the picture here. But there's like a, there's like some art detail on the inside of there, which is kind of cool. So here's the player's guide. It it has some different tip strategies in there and also has the full set of cards there. So hopefully we'll be getting some of these. I, I've never actually pulled any uh hyper rare rainbow rainbow cards, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Of course there's our regular GXs and all that. I'll probably look at that later. But here's where the main part of this comes in. Here is the box itself. So all we got to do is just take this off. So here's the card sleeves. We'll probably use those quite soon. Here's the the dice. Code card, which I'm actually not going to give out because I actually kind of want to use this whenever I get back on Pokemon TCGO. Dividers. A crap ton of energies, and I mean a crap ton of them. Look at that. It's a lot of them. And the main part that we've all come to this episode for, all kinds of packs. So we'll set that off to the side and we will be getting into the Guardians Rising packs. These are all 10 packs and not the little three packs. So we have a decent chance of pulling some Ultra Rares. Okay. So here's the code card. So one, two, three, four to the front. Okay. So we have a fairy type energy, altar of the sun, we have a Lolan Graveler, we have Mallow, we have Chansey, we have Machop, we have a Lolan Sandshrew, we have Murkrow, we have Helioptile. We have a reverse of a phantom. Ooh. Ooh. Very first pack two. Oh. Here we go. Ready? Hella. Wow. First pack and we pull an ultra rare. Wow. That is what I'm talking about. That is why you buy an elite trainer box. That is amazing. All right. So here's the Lycan Rock one. So we got another Machop to greet us right off the bat. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Okay. So we have Fighting Type Energy. We have Machoke. We have Alter the Moon. We have a Choice Band. We have Machop. We have Alolan Sandshrew. We have Murkrow. We have Helioptile. We have Machop. We have a reverse Aether Paradise Conservation Area. And we have a L Whale Lord. Is that shiny? I don't think that's a shiny. Oh well. It wasn't too bad. Alright, so now on to the Tapu Coco. Code card. Two, three, four to the front. 
Okay. We have the grass type energy. We have aqua patch. We have enhanced hammer. We have komala. We have a tailo. We have a nose pass. We have sandalit. We have another murkrow. We have a vanillite. Wow, look at that. We have a reverse gothitelle. And the final card of this pack is Oricorio. That's actually one that I haven't haven't never gotten before, so I'm gonna set that off to the side so I remember to put that in the Pokedex later. Okay, and onto the I believe that's called Hakamo O. Alright, we have a Beldum to start off with. So here's the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Okay, we have Psychic Type Energy, we have a Slowbro, we have Komala again, we have Gliascore, nope, oh, drawing more cards than I need, we have the Beldum, we have Helioptile, we have Phantom, we have Stuffle, we have that Whalemar to go with that Whale Lord we got before, we have... <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the reverse version of that, and oh, we got an Ultra Rare. Ready? One, two, Metagross GX. Nice. I'm gonna put that right back there. Right next to Hala. Okay. Next we have an Alola Ninetales. Oh, I'm opening this weirdly. Oh boy. Sometimes I struggle with these packs. Here's the code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Okay, we have a fire type energy. We have Brooklet Hill. We have another freaking Gliascore. Wonder what's up with that. Altar with the with a moon. Gothita. We have Litwick. We have Fletchling. We have Carvana. We have Barboach. We have a reverse convey. And we have Heliolisk. Eh, it wasn't too bad. Wasn't as uh, <laughs> wasn't as bad as that double Glyce score. We have another Lycan Rock coming up. Okay. Here's the code card. All right, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four to the front. Okay, we have Grass Type Energy, we have Tentacruel, we have Aether Paradise Conservation Area, we have another one of him. We have Cast Form, we have Snow Run, we have Pancham, we have Litwick, a Trap, we have Re Reverse Glalie, and we have a Lolan Sand Slash. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, now we have another Tapu Coco, and then the last one is a Alolan Ninetales. Hopefully we can pull one more. How's about one more? That's all I want, one more. Code card, two, three, four, two, the front, turn around, and we have Psychic Type Energy, Tentacruel, Energy Recycler. We have Mallow, we have Clefairy, we have Tentacruel, or Tentacruel, not Tentacruel. We have Beldum again, Helioptile again, Phantom again. We have a Reverse Politoed, and we have a Hollow Gudra. Now that's a good card. I like that. Okay, and here we go on to the the Loven Nine Tails. All right, and the final pack of today is the Alolan Ninetales. Okay, so this is the last pack. Hopefully we can pull our final Ultra Rare. Hopefully. I went ahead and cleaned up a little bit, so... Okay, here's the code card. Set that down. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four to the front. So we got the Dark Type Energy. We have a multi-switch, which would be useful. We have Watchog. 
We have a regular Glalie. We have Machop. We have Wimpod. We have Jangmo O. We have Wishy Washy. We have Delibird. We have the Trat Reverse. And the final card of today is a Wish Cash. Not my favorite thing to see, but oh well. So, notable pulls today are, of course, the Metagross and the Hala. So, the Hala is a uh, ultra rare. Uh, shuffle your hand in into your deck if you have used your GX card. Uh, draw seven cards, and if not, four cards. And then the Metagross, which I th think I've caught in this one before. I'm not too certain. Its ability is uh, once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic or a Steel type energy from your discard pile to your active Pokemon. It attacks our Giga Hammer for 150 and Algorithm GX. Search your hand for up to five cards and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck afterwards. So now that we're all done with pulling all of our cards, we can take every single one of these and we can put them back into the box. Alrighty guys, let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Leave a like, com comment your thoughts, and we will see you in the next video. That was the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising Elite Trainer Box. Until next time guys, see ya!